Members of the Planning Commission, thank you for taking time to be here again tonight to listen to our concerns. As I th sat through last meeting, one phrase stood out. That phrase, logical and harmonious. My goal with this presentation is to sh show you that rezoning this property is not logical. Let's first take a look at, the, at this property from the perspective of a potential apartment dweller. The applicant has already stated that not all tenants at this location will have vehicles. We must all remember that during many months of the year, Salem is dark, rainy, and cold. For those who don't have cars, they will presumably use public transportation with the nearest bus stop being at the corner of Liberty and Davis Roads. As the video shows, this is a dark stretch of road without any sidewalks, streetlights, and small shoulders placing those people at significant safety risk as they walk back and forth to the bus stop. For those tenants with cars, access to the complex will be a significant burden. The complex will have one access onto Liberty Road, shown in pink. Then one of the following access points must be used. The first and most likely access point is the summit view access point. This represents a path of possible traffic flow that would stem from using this exit. As we zoom into the location of Mountain View and Box Canyon, I have chosen this location for a couple of reasons. All neighborhood streets use an access point are very narrow with Box Canyon being the widest stretch, stretching 40 feet from curb to curb. As I pan over to Mountain Vista, the street narrows to 30 feet from curb to curb. Not only are the streets narrow, but you can see children and spillover traffic from the local Brian Johnston Park. In addition, the traffic, traffic blocks the other parts of Mountain Vista currently being built. Not only are the streets narrow, but this also creates a merry-go of traffic using local neighborhood streets to access main arterials. The next access point is the Horizon View access. This may be the most direct route to an arterial. However, as we zoom in, you will notice that the corner of Mildred and Horizon View has significant sightline problems. As we look up the hill, you will see the restricted sight sign. And as I pan over, you can see the stop sign is too far back. Sight lines are blocked by the hillside as you look west down Mildred. The third possible access point is Rainier Drive, which will be shown here in blue. The staff report and Mr. Colburn have indicated that this is the least likely choice since the applicant will have to pay for the full realignment of Rainier to Davis Road. Again, this also uses neighborhood streets and a merry round of traffic to reach main arterials. Traffic difficulties are not the only problem with this location. It is also a mile and a half to the nearest grocery store, which is located at Sunny Slope Shopping Center. As we all know, an apartment dweller's finances do not easily lend themselves to prices at this location. The next closest shopping center is even further away. This brings me to my next point. The Planning Commission asked multiple members of the community last meeting where an appropriate spot for multifamily units is. I have done some research on this and found that multifamily sites are given different grades, A through C, based on a number of criteria. This includes access and view from main arterials, access and convenience to local shopping, and proximity to schools. I would like to present to the Commission a few properties which would be much better if zoned as multifamily than their current status. The first site is currently for sale and is an ideal grade A location. It has easy access to Liberty Road, is within walking distance to Sunny Slope Shopping Center, as in it, and is in close proximity to both Liberty and Judson schools. The second location is located at the corner of Commercial and Wiltsey Roads. Again, this is within walking distance to Safeway, Walmart, and the newly built elementary school, which is located on a, the old Battle Creek Golf Course. Finally, 
A third possible location, while not ideal and prob would probably be a grade B location, is the site currently owned by the applicant and is zoned for residential use. This site is not surrounded by residential neighborhoods, has access to arterial roads, and is surrounded by other multifamily zoning located at the west of Liberty Road. As you can see, the current site being considered is not a logical choice. At the very best, this is a grade C property for multifamily sites due to its access points, distance from a main arterial, and the distance to shopping and to the schools. There are better locations and opportunities to change current zoning to multifamily than the one before you this evening. Thank you.